So here's some core exercises for golf. These ones are going to be all stood up, okay, as we are on our feet whilst playing golf. Uh, these are in addition to your squats, deadlifts, bent over rows, any standing up press and exercises, overhead press, uh, cable presses, um, which are all great for the core, which are essential in a golf fitness program. Um, so these are in addition to those. Um, these are going to be done using the dual adjustable pulley here. Um, but if you don't have one or you're working out at home, you can use a resistance band, attach it to a wall, to a door, to something that's not going to move, and do a similar sort of movement uh, with your resistance band. Okay, here they are. So the first one is a wood chop, but I don't want you to kind of try and mimic the golf swing, okay, with this one. So let me show you the wood chop to begin with. So left hand, right hand over left, okay. And all we're going to do is keep the arms nice and far away from the body as we chop down towards the left knee and back out around again. Okay, so we are working on a bit of weight transfer and rotary core stability, core strength. Um, don't try and get into a sort of a golf uh, position here and uh, do this sort of movement here as if we're trying too much like golf swing. Okay, you want to keep the arms nice and far away from the body, which really works the core rather than just muscling it down and keeping it in close. Okay, so here it is again. Okay, and same from behind. So also what you need to watch out for on this is that when we're chopping down, we don't come into this sort of catholic posture, we keep a nice posture. If anything, it's a bit of a hip hinge, a bit of a maybe squat backwards rather than just getting on top of it and muscling it down again with the upper body. So, hip hinge back, a little bend in the knees, nice straight back posture. Okay, there is some weight transfer as well, some rotation, um, all great, uh, great for golf. So, the next one is the reverse of that. We can do a reverse wood chop. Okay, so this time we're starting down by the knee. Then we're extending up, arms out nice and wide, finishing nice and high in this top position. Reverse back down, okay, little squat down, finishing nice and high. Again, keeping the arms a distance away from you, arms straight throughout, okay, and not muscling it up, keeping it close. And what I like with these exercises is that you can do it nice and quick on the way out and controlled motion coming back down, which is great for that acceleration and deceleration strength. And again, we're pressing off of this right side onto this left side. You can, if you like to, finish up onto your toe to really get your weight through. Uh, that's again, again, down to preference, so let's swap down. Okay, so that's the reverse wood chop. Next we're going for a pal-off press, okay? So feet short width apart to begin with, cabling towards your chest, all you're going to do is press straight out, arms straight, pause for a second, and back in, okay? So the cable's trying to pull you this way, you'll resist the mat. To make it uh, easier, you can go with a wider stance, or if you wanted to put a little bit more weight on, you can then use a wider stance and do something like a sumo pal-off press. Uh, with, uh, with this stance you'll be able to use a little bit more weight, but also uh, if I'm going for a lighter weight, it will make it a little bit easier uh, to begin with. Uh, so the power of press, feet short apart, cabling towards the chest, press out, bracing, back in, okay, repeat, straight arms at the end there, and back in, exactly the same the other side. So that's the pile of press. Next one, um, same height for the cable attachment here. We're going to do a cable rotation or a horizontal rotation or baseball type swing, uh, whatever you want to call it. So again, left, right hand over left, feet shoulder width apart. All we're going to do is big semicircle, draw a big semicircle out around us, okay, then come back to the start under control. So if anything, quick on the way out, control coming back in. Again, there's a little bit of weight transfer. Pivoting off this right side, finishing more onto the left side, drawing a big semicircle out around and not keeping the hands in close and muscling it um, out. So, 
quick on the way out, control coming back, sink both sides. So similarly to the cable rotations, uh, and kind of mixture between a pilot press and cable rotations, we do mini rotations, okay? So this one, same start position, feet shoulder width apart, cable in towards your chest to begin with. What you're gonna do, you're gonna press out and then just move from one toe to the other, okay? So we're doing mini rotations this time, okay? Trying to keep everything as still as possible, just moving the shoulders from one toe to the other, hands from one toe to the other, okay? So it's in between a full cable rotation and a power press. So here we go from one side to the other and we can do this really quickly to be challenging or a little bit slower and more controlled. Same the other side. 